All right, good morning, class. This is your professor, Dr. Jace Austin, and welcome to week number five. Yes, I believe it is week number five of 7314, your reference services and sources class. And this will be a, a mandatory video just because we need to kind of do a little dry run on what's going on with this whole a question point thing. So uh, let's get into it. Now, first things first, what I need to start off with is just telling you how to get to the question point login page, which you can actually Google. Um, hopefully you got a link in your email that if you did not, then Google questionpoint.org as you see up there. And then from there, you can uh, be brought to this login screen and your login should be with your email. So let me make sure that I can log in before anything else. That is me. And uh, I'm gonna go back into my email for my password. I don't think any of y'all care what my password is so I won't protect it. Don't think that that's the password to my banking. It is not. That is not the password to my banking or my cable or anything. It is just the password to this because go Tigers, I guess, but I'm a gang cops fan. Let's see. So this will bring you here. Okay. And in order to get our link for the practice form, let me make sure that we are doing things properly here. Should be able to, pardon me, scoop this here. Should be able to go to chat patron practice form. Ah, and it's opened up in a new tab for me. And you should get this here. Copy. I'm actually going to copy this into a different browser. Let's get rid of all of that. And so I'm actually, and I apologize, but I'm toggling between the librarian and the patron in this practice. So right now I'm on the patron screen. Um, but if you logged in as a librarian, this is what your home screen should look like. And here to the left, you can go ahead and click launch chat. Hello, Jason Austin. Ask a librarian is now continue to the QP chat. All right, and I should be here. But let's make sure this works. Um, We'll just call me Chase here and don't use my Gmail, but that's what I'm going to be doing for this assignment. And let's see if we get a response. So hello. All right. And so I have something in my queue here. So Jason has said hello. Now, librarian Jason A has joined the chat. Now, do better with the questions than what I'm doing. I'm just going through this to show you how the interface works. So, hi, Jace, how can we help you today? And I see that over here. Let me scoot this back over a bit. So, librarian Jason A has joined the chat and was message. Hi, Jace, how can I help you today? And then you can ask a question. Um, so, again, when I did this, I was in the librarian interface. Now I'm toggling back to the patron interface. And let's say that I wanted to say, I was just wondering when the library closed. Now, again, 
have something more substantial and have a more substantial interaction than what I'm doing right now. I'm just demoing, all right? So I'm just wondering when the library closed and then I can come back, hit me with a response. Again, you can do better than what I'm doing here, but I am just demoing. Okay. Cool. And don't mention it. And you'll get a lot, when you are chatting, you'll get a lot of abrupt finishes. So, no, bye. And then anyone can terminate the chat. In this case, uh, the patron can go exit chat. Or I can end the session over here. It's already been ended, but there you go. And we're going to describe it as answered and complete. All right, so that is pretty much how question point works. Um, I mean, it's not too terribly difficult once you're used to it, but one thing that I have to remember is that I have taught 7314 several times, so I am now used to it. You are not so much. So it might take you a while to just kind of figure out, uh, get your bearings straight as far as figuring out how to coordinate with your partner, how to get on as a patron, how to get on as a librarian, um, the different steps that that takes. But this video should help you with that. Um, so now that that's out of the way, let me just make sure there's nothing else that I need to address at the moment. Hold on. Okay, I actually just looked around. I don't see anything else in the course that needs to be addressed immediately. Like I said, go ahead and uh, get rolling on those uh, semester long projects. If you haven't already, they're very time consuming. Do not wait until the end of the class to do those. I cannot stress that enough. Because if you wait for the end of the class and then you get mad at me, I'm going to tell you I have been mentioning it since the beginning of the semester. So I do not want to hear any complaints. Like I said, it could take approximately 40 hours to complete that assignment. So do not find yourself getting caught up doing that at the very end of the semester. Be working on that throughout the entire semester. If you have questions, just email me, austinj at missouri.edu from any town, any place, any time, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But that's my time right there. We're gonna keep this video under 10 minutes, but you got to see basically how question point functions. Also look at the question point prompt if you have any questions, email me. Go ahead and get in touch with your partner and your partners have been assigned. If you do not know where they are, then go to announcements for the assignments and go to virtual reference assignment partner assignments. If, like it says here, if you are not assigned a partner in this announcement or if you have been assigned to partners, Either way, if you got doubled up or if you got excluded, you need to contact me right away so that I can get you going with a partner and you can complete the assignment. That's it for me. Thank you. I'm out.